Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. My name is Sava, and in this short video in the Excel 101 series, we'll cover the stock history Excel function that can help you easily, quickly, and directly import asset price data into an Excel spreadsheet. We'll just need to specify the stock symbol or ticker, for example, Apple, and the start and end dates for our data download query. For example, we want to know what the Apple stock price was from 31st of December 2021 until end of February 2022. You can use your conventional date formats here. And then we can simply apply the stock history function and specify our stock referring to this cell, the start date referring to the cell we've typed it in, and the end date as well. And then we need to specify the additional parameters of our query. In here, we can specify the periodicity of our query. We can go zero for daily, one for weekly, and two for monthly. Let's go for daily here, so zero. Then we can specify whether we would like to show the header or not. Default is one to show the header. And then we can specify which variables do we want to select and download in terms of the candles, open, high, low, close prices, as well as the volume. By default, it is zero and one for the date and the close, but we can also specify two, three, and four for the open, high, and low, respectively. And if we close the bracket and enforce this function, it will very shortly extract the correct data into your uh, Excel spreadsheet. And we can edit our query. Here, for example, we can add five to the specification and add the volume as well, which will appear very shortly. We can also change the periodicity quite easily. For example, if we want weekly data instead of daily data, we can change the zero into a one. And now the periodicity will change and we'll get only weekly data for Apple. And what is perhaps most useful uh, in terms of the stock history function is that we can change this ticker. For example, we're no longer interested in Apple. We want Walmart prices and we can just enter Walmart symbol WMT, and now Walmart prices would appear, as well as the dates. If we would go earlier in time, for example, until 30th of November 2021, the new uh, data download request would reflect it as well. And that's how to use the stock history function to easily extract financial data directly into your Excel spreadsheet. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for more videos from the Excel 101 series.